new hope tonight that the Way County Firearms Education and Training Center could remain open to the public. This comes after the sheriff canceled the contract with the current operator. As CBS 17's Colleen Quigley explains tonight, all of this led to a petition to keep the training center open. Okay, competitors, you may now approach the line. It's the pistol championship for the Bullseye Precision League. You may handle your guns at this time. Here at the Wake County Firearms Education and Training Center. I call this the yoga of shooting sports, where it's high, high concentration, relaxation. But as competitors aim at that center circle, Green Safety Officer William Trowell is focused on the league's future and what could be their final matchup. It is bittersweet because, it, and it's an exciting match because it is a championship, but again, it's our last one and, and where do we go from here? is a big question mark. Monday, the Wake County Board of Commissioners announced it's working towards a deal with the North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission that could keep the range open to the public. Last month, the sheriff ended the contract with the company that manages the public part of the shooting range, citing a lack of profitability and cash handling concerns. When the sheriff can say, this is what you charge for admission, this is, you can't advertise, it doesn't sound like financial profitability was really high on the list. Ken's here. Mark Valletta disagreed Agrees. He even got more than 8,000 people to sign a petition asking for the range to remain open to the public. He hopes the Wildlife Commission will do that. I'm sort of a glasses half full kind of guy. There's a lot to be decided, but I think it's this is going to be a public facility for a long time. Trell says this is one of the only 100 yard indoor ranges in the state and offers courses for all skill levels at a low cost. Something he hopes whoever takes over will continue to do. Right now, we don't know what it's going to look like. That uh, sounds like there's going to be access to the public. We don't know what the hours will be and what programs will be allowed to be run here. I was calling Quigley reporting the Wake County Board of Commissioners still has to approve the NC Wildlife Resource Commission as the operator of the range. If that approval is given, the range could reopen to the public within 60 days.